This is a world within a world, a world we cannot see, a world of plants and animals living by the millions in a single drop of water. For 40 years, Dr. Roman Vishniak has been exploring through photography the mystery and wonder of this microscopic world. Dr. Vishniak's laboratory, cluttered with cameras, microscopes, and specimens, is a 10 by 12 foot room in his New York City apartment. The 58 year old scientist and philosopher who holds doctorates in zoology and medicine is recognized as the world's foremost photographer of microscopic life. The microscope's magic will make visible an amazing variety of animal and plant life wholly unlike anything that has ever been seen by the naked eye. Here the doctor adjusts his own intricate lighting system. The microscope, one of 13 used by Dr. Vishniak in his work, is integrated with a motion picture camera especially adapted for filming the infinitely tiny subjects. Magnified up to 6,000 times, all specimens are alive. The doctor believes that only living creatures can be photographed truthfully, making possible an accurate report on their behavior in a natural, free-swimming environment. There in center screen is a flagellate, tiny even under the microscope. Flagellates are believed to be the ancestors of all animal life on Earth, originating more than two billion years ago. Dr. Vishniak's carefully controlled lighting system enables him to make remarkable photographs of the interiors of his subjects. Thus, we are able to see here in fascinating and hitherto undreamed of detail, the inner organs of the Paramecium bursaria. Here is a Paramecium caudatum, the most common species of protozoa. A form of animal, it cannot, like a plant does, produce its own food. Following the minute animals as they search for their food, Dr. Vishniak must keep them under constant scrutiny, making certain that they do not disappear out of the camera's range. This is a flat worm, one of the doctor's bigger specimens. It measures about 1 30th of an inch and can actually be seen with the naked eye. Still another form of protozoa is this colony of bell-shaped species. Around the opening of each bell are cilia, or hairs, whose feverish activity produces a strong current. Plants and animals floating by are swept into the mouth opening by this current and swallowed up. Thus, through the endless beating of their cilia, these bell-shaped animals cause their food to flow to them. Among Dr. Vishniak's most unusual specimens are these 32 microorganisms which hang together, folding and unfolding much like an accordion. The doctor films his subjects with an amazing third-dimensional effect. The results are masterpieces of beautiful simplicity, all in marked contrast to the flat, ordinary views of specimens immobilized on glass slides. In the words of Dr. Vishniak, in nature, every bit of life is lovely, and the more magnification we use, the more details are brought out, perfectly formed, like endless sets of boxes within boxes. In intricate splendor, this is the desmid, jewel of the pond. The moss animal's weaving tentacles set up water currents that draw in all life around it. The creature takes into its mouth the animals and plants it needs to exist. Other matter is quickly rejected. Like every one of Dr. Vishniak's subjects, the moss animal will be returned alive to the exact spot where the doctor found it. Seizing a speck-sized plant, this aquatic animal gnaws away bacteria as a dog would gnaw away at a bone. Finishing one tasty morsel, it immediately tracks down another. Here is a hydra, member of the same family as the Portuguese man of war. Growing halfway down the hydra's side is a bud, for although the hydra is an animal, it reproduces by budding like the plants we know. The growth on the stalk will eventually break off to form another hydra. The tentacles not only gather the hydra's food, but contain thousands of minute organs that have the power to poison and paralyze any prey. In this unusual close-up, we can see the detailed structure of one of the hydra's tentacles. The shrimp, 
magnified by the microscope's wondrous lens, is revealed to have blood vessels that carry oxygen and nourishment to every part of the body, including the eyes. The circulation of the blood is exactly like that in the highest form of animal life. What's for the movement of the shrimp's eye? Photographing the larval stage of a crab, Dr. Vishniak introduces an infinitesimal spotlight into this microscopic world as he follows the long, thin projectile that extends far out from the body. We can see the beating of the heart and the pulsating of the blood as it circulates through another of the crab's projectiles. The circulatory system closely resembles the one found in the human body. The compound eye, which is actually many little eyes, enables the crab to see in many directions at once. This is a water plant, microscopic in size, but gigantic in comparison to the millions of bacteria that swarm around it. The bacteria feed on the oxygen and other materials given off by the plant. In the economy of God's universe, nothing is wasted. And so Dr. Vishniak explores a world separated only by a set of lenses from man's everyday existence. What a variety of animals I can see, says the doctor, in the contents of a single jar of pond water. One could take a trip around the world and not see as many kinds of animals or as many thrilling adventures as I see in my laboratory. Dr. Roman Vishniak has devoted a lifetime to the discovery of nature through photography, observing and recording the teeming life of a microscopic world that exists unseen around us.